Welcome, MFL viewers, to Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium, built on money from a loan that can't possibly be paid back. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Los Angeles Dam take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. and, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. And that is called for a first down. First and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Hey, that defense. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? First and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Nicely done. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake straight through the uprights the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five First and ten. And he pulled a water key dirty trick. This play is usually good for a quick... Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. It's a touchdown! Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I to notice that these red lights talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. I don't even know. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. to the air and came up big. Second down in a lot. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. If you don't kill this ref 
but the attack ref dirty trick. You're gonna lose, pal. You kinda deserve it if you're this dead scrimmage. Second down and 10. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and 10. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and 10. Oh man, he really wants it. Third down and, well, good luck. And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a four yard game. Second down and six. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Second down and more than the QB would like. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Roid Rage! How do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It's good.
Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the line, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go, Don't Treat That Yellow Snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Second down in a mile. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Third down and long. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Third down in. The punter is warming up. Oh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a golf team snags. He got the punt. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Griffin, and keep coming back to him. <laughs> Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down, and, well, good luck. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and two. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Damn, big deal. Missed the beat for Brady. Do 
don't make any mistakes here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's in the 20. First down. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Second down and long. Timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. You can't keep a good mutant down. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And it's first and ten. The SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the linemen. Second down and ten. He should apply for the Mutant Volleyball League. Hey, uh, don't give the fans any ideas. The commission already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. 
And it's first. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. point but this guy could blow it straight through the uprights Think I shown my cards the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring two-minute drill which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopsing time that's why the girls call me speak he dropped it if he does that again they'll drop him the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit yeah but on the bright side win they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore uh, I think the funeral expenses that is And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense called nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Third and four. They stump the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalpost if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five oh and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out he picks up a two And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Third down and eight. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your head. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. the bench 
He dropped it, you putts. Second down and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's on those power to green. Like a high cool. <laughs> They're going for two points. And they run it in for two points. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. Boom! And it's first and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed. At some point, they're going to need to put this ref out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hint. Dirty tricks attack the ref. First down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. This really puts the fun back in football. Don't it, Grim? That's a great dirty trick. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, eight. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot one, eight. And he steamrolls through the defense on that play and picks up a nice chunk of yardage. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. <laughs> man, what a hit that was! <laughs> and it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and long. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. 
about a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot two. Hot, 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 hot. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, look at this guy. And he runs it for four yards. <laughs> Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Whoa, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Straight through the uprights. Think I shown my cards. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. for a first down. And it's first and ten. <laughs> nice run for five yards. <laughs> Second down and five.
Jones, he's taking him, and he runs it in for the touchdown. Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the end of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing, scoring machine. What a story. What a, what a wonderful story. You do me to me. They want more points, so they're going for two. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Briggs. right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. You can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, but you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Second down and more than the QB would like. One. No one was open downfield, so the QB threw the ball away. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot two. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out, because if he gets hit, he is dead. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to meet at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the head. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he's off to the races. He's at the 10. Close, but no cigar. First down and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a return of the ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Rick. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel, he got blown across the room into the theater antlers. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. I won. Hey. <laughs> the defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball, grim? Maybe if they use their last timeout. Hot one, hot two, hey. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like, oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Just... And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Third and four. Hot, hot one. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. And they just smacked that one back in his face. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And he held on to that one for a first down. And the Eagles take the win. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a defeated team should get a participation.
participation award because yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.